Hey, Doc, thanks for talking with us. My pleasure, how can I help? We're planning a family and we want to know whether our future baby's health is based on genes or the environment. Can you help us to understand the work you're doing to ensure that she'll be healthy? Absolutely. My colleague, Dr. Mason, will tell you about an NIH-funded project that I think you're gonna love. Great. Dr. Mason? Thanks, Dr. Ross. We use high-throughput next-generation DNA sequencing to examine 5-methylcytosine and 5-hydroxymethylcytosine changes in the DNA, as well as the histones on which they're wrapped, which have H3K4, H3, K27, acetylation and methylation changes themselves, and then use statistical algorithms to understand risk for neonatal defects like neural tube disorders. We then use machine learning and dynamic programming tools with non-parametric statistical methods to find the changes. Okay, let's try this another way. Thanks to the mapping of the human genome, we know a lot about the DNA blueprint of our cells, but we know less about how the environment impacts that blueprint to tip the balance toward health or disease, like birth defects. Like spina bifida. Yes. Go on. In tandem with your DNA, there are changes in methylation to your genes that guide them to become more active or to become silent. Like thousands of light switches. Exactly. And we're putting all of these millions of combinations into a... Computer. Correct. And then you analyze them to see which combinations cause disease. And which might prevent problems. And from there we can more accurately... Predict our risk for disease. Or lower our future children's risk. It sounds like you're getting the hang of it. Bad genes off. Good genes on. Our baby will be amazing.